faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it will just tear. I'm terrified by this, because our night sky is changing quickly, and in just a few decades, if not years, it could be completely unrecognizable. Astronomers all over the world are raising the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have recently confirmed the imminent explosion of Polaris, and the tale behind it is quite terrifying. Polaris, also known as the North Star, has long been 0 0.032, a reference point for stargazers, navigators, and astronomers. However, this may soon change, forever altering our night sky and astronomical measurements. Let's delve into the significance of this threat and its implications for all of us. Join us as we discover the story of Polaris as it approaches its end. For centuries, Polaris has guided mariners and astronomers alike, holding a revered position as a guiding light. However, its unwavering presence in the night sky has been do do wa one o six disrupted. In September 2023, a research paper presented by the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society cast doubt on the fate of this celestial luminary. Polaris is on the brink of exploding, potentially vanishing from the night sky forever. Before we explore the consequences of this revelation, let's understand more about Polaris. Also known as the North Star, or Pole Star, Polaris is special due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. Situated almost directly above Earth's North Pole, it appears almost stationary in the sky. Polaris is a moderately bright yellow-white supergiant star that can be found in the constellation Ursa, minor or the Little Dipper. It is much larger and brighter than our sun. Polaris is not a single star. Rather, it is part of a complex triple star system. Polaris A and Polaris Ab form a binary pair, and Polaris B orbits around them. The interactions between these stars create gravitational forces that shape their orbits and influence their behavior. Any disruptions in these interactions, 000214, may affect the star's brightness or pulsation patterns. However, the exact mechanisms behind these interactions remain unclear. Polaris is located approximately 323 light-years away from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today started its journey over three centuries ago. Thus, if Polaris were to explode now, we wouldn't observe it until over three centuries later. It's even possible that Polaris has already exploded, and we're yet to witness the light from that event. Throughout history, the North Star has held Immense cultural, navigational, and 00.0250 symbolic significance. Its stability and fixed position made it an invaluable aid for ancient navigators, guiding them across seas and lands. Symbolically, Polaris represented constancy and guidance, remaining steadfast amidst the ever-changing night sky. For astronomers, Polaris served as a crucial reference point aiding in the study of celestial motions and variable stars. As a Cepheid variable star, its periodic variations in brightness have provided valuable insights into stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This e 3 characteristic also played a pivotal role in determining cosmic distances and calibrating instruments. These pulsations follow a predictable pattern, which has been the norm for the star, making it easy for us to anticipate its behavior. However, recently, Polaris has strayed from this expected behavior. This irregularity in its pulsation cycle has puzzled astronomers, leading to a closer examination of this celestial anomaly. Instead of its usual predictable pattern, Polaris has begun displaying erratic cycles of dimming and UR draw pod 358 brightening. Scientists are now raising concerns that the star may be approaching the end of its life. This aligns with behaviors typically observed in stars nearing their end. The gradual elongation of Polaris's pulsation period which was once stable, can be attributed to interactions within its star system. We've observed an annual increase in the pulsation duration of 4.5 seconds, which might seem insignificant, but it holds significant implications. 
Some astronomers suggest that gravitational interactions between the Polaris stars, Rho 429, could be causing these fluctuations in its atmospheric conditions, directly affecting its pulsation patterns. However, others are more alarmed, believing that the star is on the brink of exploding. The similarities between Polaris's behavior and that of Betelgeuse, another notable star in the Orion constellation, are striking. Both stars have shown perplexing irregularities in their luminosity, raising concerns about potential explosions. Stars in their twilight stage often exhibit such irregularities before reaching the Roto 5 No 3 culmination of their life cycles. NASA has expressed heightened concern about Betelgeuse, but similar attention hasn't been officially directed toward Polaris yet. As a Cepheid star nears the end of its life cycle, it progresses through various phases, including the main sequence phase, the red giant phase, and ultimately, the supernova explosion. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists predict it has entered the stages of helium depletion, typical of stars nearing their end. These irregularities in Polaris's, as astronomers intensify their scrutiny of Polaris, the broader, implications of its potential transformation begin to resonate beyond academia. Public interest in space phenomena is at an all-time high, fueled by widespread media coverage and the captivating allure of witnessing a rare celestial event in our lifetime. Educational institutions are integrating Polaris-related content into curricula, and observatories worldwide are preparing for a possible surge in observational campaigns, hoping to capture every nuance of the star's behavior. The transformation of Polaris, should it occur, would also open the door to global collaboration in real time. Much like the historic observation of SN 1987A, the scientific community anticipates forming coordinated global networks to monitor changes in light curves, spectrum shifts, and gravitational signals. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, and upcoming ground-based telescopes such as the Vera C. Rubin Observatory could work in tandem, combining optical, infrared, and radio data to yield a holistic view of the phenomenon. In that in the meantime, communities tied to celestial navigation, including indigenous groups and maritime traditions, are grappling with the potential cultural loss. Efforts are underway to digitally preserve oral histories, stories, and practices connected to Polaris, acknowledging that the disappearance or dimming of such a prominent star may leave a lasting void in human cultural heritage. Astrophysicists are also considering what comes next. If Polaris ceases to serve as the North Star, which celestial body might assume that symbolic role? Already, candidates like Gamma Cephe and Eri in Cepheus are under examination as the Earth's axial precession slowly shifts the celestial North Pole over millennia. Yet none possess Polaris's current prominence or brightness. As of now, the star continues to pulse irregularly, unpredictably, mysteriously. Whether these oscillations foretell a quiet fading or a cataclysmic event, Polaris remains a celestial enigma, and perhaps therein lies its enduring power. To remind us that even in an era of deep space telescopes and interstellar ambitions, the night sky can still surprise us. For now, Polaris endures flickering at the northern horizon, whispering secrets of stellar life and death, and inviting us to listen more closely to the cosmos and to our place within it.